Another area that you're heavily invested in is asset-backed securities. Uh, where exactly are you looking at with ABS, and, and what does it tell you about where we are in the credit cycle, your own holdings in that So area? when you look at the, if we step back, a part of this also dealt with the mortgage-backed section. We looked in 2009 and 10 and said, how do we want to deploy capital? And we said, well, we want to have a first lien on an asset. We want to be able to value the asset. The asset needs to be critical to an individual or a business. The individual or business needs to have equity in the asset. And then we just started looking. Mortgages became one area, but so did asset backs. And it led us into equipment. It led us into insurance premiums for commercial businesses. It led us into automobile lending. So we went into a variety of spaces with that as the construct to start mm -hmm. with. Um, you look at our holdings on ABS, they've been rising because we've been finding better value there versus what we found in the single family mortgage space. But more on the co commercial side, not so much on the retail side? Um, on the asset back, we do have a, a exposure into the automobile space, whether it's subprime or prime. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's very short, maybe a year and a half mm -hmm. or less, so it's just amortizing rather quickly for you. You don't have an exposure for a long period right. of time to these individuals. Uh, because we have noticed in the automobile space that, especially in subprime, we started there in 2010, but what we noticed in the last year is the length of that loan has increased from sort of being maybe 60 months, five years, mm -hmm. to now all of a sudden being more like six years. It's not, you know, the, the car itself has gotten a little older. It's not a three-year-old car, now it's right. a four-year-old or a five-year-old car.